Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the functionality of an English dictionary to Scilab. Now, isn't that awesome? Now, to understand this video, you would need some background. So, I would recommend that you check out my previous video on the installation and downloading of Scilab toolboxes or modules. Now, um, to add the functionality of dictionary, what we'll be doing is we'll be downloading a toolbox on uh, that contains the dictionary that is the English dictionary so once you download the toolbox you would be able to find out the meanings or the definitions of the English words so just go to this website that is atoms.scilab.org and just wait for the website to open so now in this website there are quite a few toolboxes available for download however if you go to this category called education then you will find a toolbox that is English dictionary or ingdict and it is a toolbox that brings the functionality of an English dictionary to Scilab and by the way it is created by me as you can see that I am its author my name is Manas Sharma by the way so that's how or where you can get the English dictionary tool toolbox and in case you are not understanding what a toolbox or module is, I again recommend that you go and watch the previous video on the toolboxes and modules. So just click on, find this file right here and just click on this download icon and save the file. It is 5.4 MBs as you know, a dictionary is quite a huge database of words so it will take up some space. So it's downloaded now and it's safe to download as my Mac Cafe web advisor is also telling me right here. Now just open the folder containing your toolbox and copy its path and then head over to your Scilab console and use this command that is atoms install and then um, okay so type atoms install then give a bracket and in quotes you can write the path of the file where the file is installed or, or downloaded to be precise and what's the name of the file okay so the name of the file is inkdict and some numbers then blah 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 so just copy that and paste um i didn't copy that i guess okay so copy the name of the file go to your Scilab console enter the name of the file and the file type that is zip so just download the filing dict that is a toolbox with the English dictionary functionality and then get the part of the file where the file is downloaded and enter it using the atoms install command and hit enter now it will install this toolbox now it takes uh, a little bit of time so let me just pause the video right uh, recording of this video right here and come back in a few moments when it's done okay so welcome back now the module is installed now and you can see this success message from Scilab now in order to load this module uh, for use you need to give a command called atoms load and then the name of the toolbox which you can see is inkdict from here so just type that inkdict and you can hit enter to load it or another thing that you could have done was that you could have just you know exited your scilab and just restarted scilab again and what it would do is it would load the modules that you have installed automatically so it loads the English dictionary toolbox now it says here that to type um, help inkdict for a quick start so let's just do that inkdict and it takes us to the page called define so it is a function define is a function which returns the definition or meaning of the English word so, and the syntax is pretty simple um, you need to call uh, or you need to use the function defined then as the parameter you need to enter an English word whose definition is needed 
and the meaning would be a string or a matrix of strings that contains the definitions and here are some two a few examples of how to use this function so let's just go ahead and run these now as you can see for the command define a back I get five results that is a back to a an adverb that is that means towards the back or rear then a back another adverb that means behind another adverb that means backward against the mast then another meaning of a back that is a noun that is an abacus and the uh, definition of ostentatious returns fond of or invincing and unduly conspicuous pretentious boastful now isn't that cool i mean you can now even search for the definitions of english words right from the syllabus uh, itself so let me just try another word so um, again i get two definitions for the word ensemble one of them is an adverb another one is that of a noun and you can try any word and it will give you a cool definition so let's just search proud and you get a lot of definitions for proud or you can even search some um, you know tough words like atrophy and you get three meanings for atrophy that is a wasting away from want of nourishment and you can try even another word like eccentric and it gives you five definitions for eccentric so isn't that cool this feature adds the functionality of an english dictionary to sila and by the way this toolbox was created by me so if you want to then you can go ahead and download it from this link adams.silab.org slash toolboxes slash inkdict and make sure you you know enter a comment regarding if you liked it or not and let's see how it goes well thanks for watching and don't forget to like the video if you liked it and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on scilab and other cool stuff and thanks for watching